Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon channel. Um, this is going to be a different kind of video. I've been discussing with um, my soul sister about um, cutting down cards because, um, you know, some decks are rather large. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to make a couple decks personal to me and cut them down. The first one is the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. And then I'm going to uh, cut down the Good Tarot um, just to make it a little easier for me to handle. And also it'll make it mine. Um, I'll be putting uh, my own touches on it, right? So um, I have this uh, Cricut uh, cutter. And then um, she had let me know about a corner cutter. So I got this corner cutter on Amazon. And um, you just put it, you put the corner in there and then you press down. And it's got three different sizes. You have small, medium, and large. And I guess you just, oh, oh, I see. There's a thing in here. And you just put it in there and it cuts. All right. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm not going to uh, put any sound on this because... I'll probably be crying a little bit, maybe cursing. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to turn out. But I thought that I would share this with you in case you wanted to cut down yours and you weren't sure uh, whether or not uh, you should or how to go about doing that. Now, I have this Cricut cutter. Um, they have paper slicers um, available just about everywhere. Um, but I'm going to, I have to be like really careful, um, not to cut off anything that I don't, um, necessarily want cut. Um, so we shall see how this works out. <sighs> nervous. Okay, so I'll be making a scraps. <laughs> so let's see what we've got going on with this. I don't want to open that. I have to also be careful not to cut too much off because I'm going to be doing the corner cutter, right? Let's see, should I do a large one? Let's try it. I'm going to cut the sides off too. So. Oh, well, look at that. That that worked out lovely. So I, I'm just going to be uh, cutting these down. And we shall... I'm not going to have any... Um, I'm not going to be talking during this, um, but I will come back uh, when I am done with this whole deck and we shall see how it handles and how I feel about it. How does that sound? Okay, so let's get to working. Um, my um, 
believe in your own magic uh, deck uh, to be more, uh, more um, useful for me, <laughs> um, more shuffable, shuffleable. Um, I like it. Um, now, I have as a disclaimer, I have had. Um, these two decks, the Good Tarot and um, Believe in Your Own Magic for quite some time. And so I didn't, they, they've been worn, <laughs> right? And I'm already planning on buying another Good Tarot deck, so I wasn't too concerned about um, how, you know, about messing it up and, and having to start all over again. Uh, cause I already planned on, um, getting another, uh, good tarot deck. Uh, this one has been worn quite, quite a bit. So, um, I wanted to get a new one anyway, but, um, I thought that it would be nice to have a smaller sized, uh, good tarot deck. And I did cut a great deal down from the original size um, but, and a lot of the picture is missing, um, because of that, because this is a frameless deck, right? But, um, it, it feels a lot nicer to shuffle, uh, being a smaller deck for me. Um, it's been an experience, that's for sure. Um, I don't know how I feel about the, the good tarot being smaller just because I just I really loved that deck and I still love it but again it's I, I cut it down considerably but um I really like the fact that I can shuffle this believe in your own magic deck without um causing cramps in my hand <laughs> um the question though is Will I ever be brave enough to cut down my Into the Lonely Woods deck? I don't know. Um, but this was a nice way to experience this and kind of um, make it my own, right? Because uh, these are my, oh, some of my older decks and um, they have been worn quite a bit. So... If I mess them up or if I I cut them to the point where I didn't like it, then, you know, I, I would just buy a, a new deck, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I don't have a problem with that. But I like this into the, or believe in your own magic, the way that it got cut down. Um, I... Again, I used my uh, my Cricut cutter. You can get you can get one of these paper cutters from any office supply store, or I'm sure Amazon has them. You don't have to get the Cricut brand. There's plenty of them out there that are cheaper that are just as useful. Um, but this is something that um, I've always found useful oops, to have uh, just on me, right? And then again, um, I was told about uh, corner cutters. So I went on Amazon and I found this one. Um, if this is something, I like it because it, it holds the um, little cut cuttings. And so you could just hold it over a trash can and take off the lid and all of the little cuttings. Because they're, as you can see, little teeny tiny. So you don't want that to be... <laughs> You can turn them into confetti. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them into some resin and uh, make a coaster out of them. You never know. But um, very useful. It has three different settings. Um, so, and I used the large setting on both of these decks. Um, nice little corners. Um, I'll put a link to uh, where I got this one. If this one is something that appeals to you. Quite handy. I'm glad that I bought it. It wasn't overly expensive, and I know that there are plenty of things that I can um, use them on. 
Um, let me see if I can find a piece of paper nearby. <clears throat> so this is the large setting, nice little round corners. This is the medium setting. You can cut any kind of corners that you want, right? So um, if, if that's something that appeals to you, I'll put a link to where I purchased this um, in the description box below. But, you know, I'm sure any paper cutter, any corner cutter will do, right? <laughs> um, I don't know if I would um, necessarily cut down any of my other decks, but it's nice to know that I have that option to do that and be able to make them um, easier to hold in my hand. This was extremely time consuming to do, and I put a lot of effort and energy into it. So um, keep that in mind. Um, other than that, I hope that um, this was a useful little video for you. And I hope that um, if this is something that you've been contemplating doing for yourself, but you weren't really sure how to do it, that maybe it gave you some sort of inspiration. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and I will see you on the next video.